Hi, Tim Skell here, ABB HVACR Application Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to figure out where's the start stop and where's the speed reference landed on an ACH 580. Well, there's two ways you can do it. There's the easy way or there's the parameters way. I hate the parameters way, trying to memorize parameters between different drive families, different drive manufacturers. I like being able to follow natural navigation to figure out uh, these type of answers. So taking a quick step back, why would I care about how to find my start stop and my speed reference? Hey, when you're trying to do that troubleshooting and you're walking up to a drive for the first time, you're not the one who's ever configured it. You didn't program it. You didn't commission it. But you want to know about that drive because you got to solve the challenge, whatever that challenge is with it. Well, first thing I like to know is where's my start stop landed and what's controlling the speed and where's that speed signal landed. So let me show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do here is simply navigate the menu. Come on down to Diagnostics. Scroll on down to Start Stop Reference Summary. And either hit the right button or the Select. And there you have it, it's as simple as that. My Start Stop is landed on Digital Input 1. And my Speed Reference is set up as an Analog Input Reference on AI1. So had I been getting a signal over the embedded field bus like BACnet or my start stop was over BACnet, I'd be able to see that here. But in this case, it's hardwired, digital input one for my start stop, analog input one for my speed reference. Those also happen to be factory defaults. So there you have it. It's that easy to figure out where your start stop and speed reference is coming from on an ACH580. No need to dive into the parameters. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to your local ABB drive specialist or your ABB application engineer. Thank you.